Ooh, there we go. All right, so my name is Sawyer. I don't speak Japanese. Um, so uh, first of all, hi. <laughs> So, um, so he, web, web development is actually hard because you have to pick what you're going to develop in web. Um, Mod Pearl, <laughs> Mod Pearl really sucks and CGI PM is worse. <laughs> so I, you know, but, but it's Pearl so we have a lot of choices and it's all about decisions, decisions, decisions. So, you know, you can pick a, a lot of different frameworks. There's Catalyst, there's Dancer 2, there's Aim on 2, there's Modulus and more and more and more. Um, so what I decided to do was to give a very short talk about Dancer 2 because a lot of people here don't know it. So first of all, a simple Dancer 2 application where you have a get to slash, you render a template called index with some variables. You can do the same thing with a different layout in, other than the default one. Of course when you do use Dancer 2 you get strict warnings in UTF-8. Right? Wow! This is incredible. Um, as well, you can use a uh, different template system like Xlate, oh. and that will use automatically text Xlate. Oh. Right? Amazing! I know! Yeah. Okay, so thank you. So, um, something else, you can use serializers. And then look at this we're not doing two JSON. This does two JSON automatically. And then when someone sends JSON, it gets deserialized automatically. Right? Incredible! Okay. <laughs> Now, because the answer to is actually built on PSGI, it means that you get plaques. So if you do, if you use my app and then you call the answer to PSGI app, you get an actual app. If you load multiple dancer apps, this will create a single app. So you can do, you can use uh, plaque middlewares. So you can create that app and then you can enable more middlewares. Uh, English to Japanese, someone can implement this. <laughs> it doesn't exist yet on CPM. Um, and then of course you can use your own map, so if I load my app in my app API, which my app API is the API in JSON, um, it's a REST interface, so I can map them together, slash will go here, and slash API will go here. Each one will create its own PSGI app fully, and then you can to call to app in the real map, which is, oh my god, holy fucking shit. Now, um, so in, in summary, and this is the shortest lightning talk today, uh, Dancer 2 has beautiful syntax. It has some really interesting features other than the really, really basic stuff that I showed you. And there's a lot of templated engines. Just in case someone is interested, we support the Modulicious template. It works. Um, and we have some such engines, the logger engines, stuff like that. We use Moo, of course. We're, it's completely PSGI compliant. So you can just pick it up, try it out. <laughs> Thank you.